Because as long as we have that devil in us, we're going to show two faces. Because we're going to show such an ex wanting to be accepted by people and everybody is not, doesn't have good intentions. We're going to be impressive. I want to impress this person, so I'm going to show this face. Oh, I ain't really holy like I pretend. I'm really a stank butt. But it's fashionable to be around some people that I'm around, so I have to look like this. That means we are working for Satan. We will do anything. That means we will do anything. When you show two faces, you will do anything. You can't be trusted. You don't even trust yourself. The prophet said, those people who show those two faces are hypocrites. We are hypocrites. Showing two faces. Okay, no, I won't drink no wine in the mosque, but uh, let me be at a birthday party or something, and I'll take a little sip of wine. Oh, it's cool. I'll just take a sip. You change your face. Or you do something somewhere else that you won't do in the mind. Everybody's watching. But we're always being watched. We're always being watched. So how come we don't have that kind of consciousness? Real Iman is knowing that Allah sees you wherever you are. And even if you don't see Allah, know that Allah sees you. That's what real Iman is. There's no place where Allah Almighty is not. I don't know, we have an illusion that, okay, if somebody physically is not watching us, then as soon as nobody physically is watching us, there ain't nobody looking at us. What kind of mentality is that? And we call ourselves believers in Allah Almighty? That is a joke. That, we really, that's a real trick. That means somebody has really tricked us. By the arch deceiver, if Shaitan can trick Adam and Eve from paradise, he can trick us too. And we all fall for that same trick. And that's why we're not balanced. You don't think people see that we're not balanced? It's in everybody to see balance. Even if we're not balanced, we recognize balance. Even if we're not clean, we recognize something that's clean. And if we don't, Clean out uh, our clothes and we stink. We know when someone is clean and they don't stink. Even if we don't do it, we all recognize it. Why do we think we can hide from the things we do in the dark? Because nobody don't say anything about it. You should say something about it because you know. You should know that a lot know. And you should also know that there is going to be a punishment coming on us for that. When we least expect it. Least expect it. Allah always comes like a, a thief in the night. Never know when we're going to get busted out. When I used to go over to the prisons, and I used to ask the prisoners over there, oh, who's innocent? Everybody said, I'm innocent. So how'd you get in here? I said, because Allah busted you. So you could be hearing what I'm saying. Because otherwise you wouldn't be hearing what I'm saying. You wouldn't be able to be walking awakened. If whatever happened to get you here, to hear this, that is a mercy and a blessing for you from your Lord, from heavenly knowledge. We don't have no mind. We've lost our mind. How can we lead somebody anywhere? How can we talk to somebody about heavenly, the heavenly life if we don't live it? We live a decadent life. We're deceptive. We're dishonest. Thinking that and trick them. You don't trick nobody. You trick yourself. You the trick. You the trick. You don't think nobody know what we're doing? We, it's always knowing. It's always known what we do. That's why the Sahabas, may Allah be pleased with them, every night before they went to sleep, they would say, oh Allah, 
any lies I've told today, any deceptions I've done today, anything I've done to wrong my soul, please forgive me. I don't want to take this into my sleep alone because I may not wake up. And if I wake up having these sins on me, these things on me, then I know that it will carry over to the next life. They had wisdom. We are all sinners. We are all sinners. No one is sinless. But wisdom is like, oh, Lord, please forgive me. Please do not leave me in the hands of my ego. And I seek refuge in you from the cursed devil, the one in me and the one outside of me. We don't never say that. The one inside of me and the one outside of me. We don't think we have a devil working in us all the time. Muslims, Christians, Jews, righteous people, we're not righteous. We think about ourselves. It's not of our nature to be disobedient to Allah. It's out of our nature. We're not in accordance with our purpose. That's why we're not steadfast. That's, not, that's why we're not happy. That's why we got to take synthetics to keep us balanced. But they make you imbalanced. They don't make you balanced. Only Allah can balance you. Only Allah can balance you. What's wrong with us? Lost our doggone minds. Allah says, don't die like that. Don't die like that. Because where you die, where because where you live is the, and the way you live is the way you die, and that continues. That continues. Do we want that? If Allah took us right now, we'll be happy. But what we bring to the table thus far? If we're not ready to leave this second, we ain't right. Because you don't know when Allah's gonna take us. Oh, well, I remember when I lived in Egypt, and they said, well, you know, I'm going to make my, uh, uh, I'm going to fast this Ramadan. Uh, I'll fast, and I'll make my Hajj when I get married and get some kids. I said, well, how you think you, why do you think you're going to live that long? How you know? You ever heard of babies born in the, dying in the womb? You ever heard of one-year-old, or a one-second-old baby dying? Before they're one years old, two, three, four, five? Anybody dies any time. So why we think that we're going to be able to do all these things in our mind that Satan is telling us to do, to be disobedient to Allah, to put off being obedient to Allah. We done lost our doggone minds. We done lost our minds. That's why nobody don't listen to us. Why should we listen to someone who is dishonest and cheating? Cheat the prophets, cheat the message that the prophets brought to us to raise us up. How can we ever get any kind of inspiration to be righteous and good people when we don't even listen? We can't listen. Shaitan got us and keeps us from listening. To what? That is going to take us up. Now Shaitan got us thinking like him to stay down. Now we self-check. Shaitan told me to stay down. Shaitan told me to stay in here. Shaitan told me don't even listen to guidance. Shaitan said don't even go up. And we fall for that. That's the craziest thing. We keep falling for it. Time is getting short. Things are happening now. A whole lot of things is happening. On the unseen realm, unseen level. The reality, spiritual level. That we're not even aware of. And yet we take for granted that we're going to have the next moment. We're just silly people. We lost our minds. We've been tricked. Bamboos. We think that we are tricky. We think we are clever. Who's been tricked? Who's been out clevered? We're asking Allah Almighty to forgive us. Him, you have to woman Allah to forgive us. Alhamdulillah, we like him. We salat the wassalam. Allah kabir. Muslimu Abdul Habib. Wassafiyyatun Namabar.